Welcome back to the Spookyarders. So yeah, back to the breach. I'm not quite where I was, but I found something new. I don't know what it is. Is it better shooting us? You found a spread upgrade? Whoa! Awesome! That was definitely worth it. Press, press. I pressed... Um, that's not, that's not how things work, buddy. Just... Never mind. Date unknown, place unknown. The jump was a success. Everything went smoothly and worked as expected. Well, except for the clocks. They seem to have stopped working. Spooky. Why do you have mechanical clocks? You're on a fucking space station. Why do you have clocks that can stop? Unless it magically made digital clocks stop somehow. Anyway, the strangest thing about this is that we can't find out what's wrong with them. I heard one of our crew scientists... Our crew scientist. Yes. Say that in this dimension, time might stand still or something like that. That's... That doesn't make sense because you were moving. Genius. That... No. That just does not... No. They don't seem to be troubled by this and assure me it's no big deal. It's... It's okay. We just... We just stopped moving through the fourth dimension, so nothing happens ever, so it's, it's, it's not a big deal, dude. It won't affect the automatic return system of the Hermes, as the switch jump method is based on distance and not on time. That's... Time... Time matters, kids. It... It really does. You know what happens without time? You don't move. You don't... Nothing actually happens. So, yeah. Calling BS on that. Anyway. I think we're getting a little bit of lag, so I probably should have set the graphics quality on low. It seems when I shoot, I get a little bit of lag. Oh, it did save that I got these. And I found you can shoot those pink wall hangy things and kill them. They just take 18,000 years to die. And I really don't know why, because... You know, if you can shoot them once, shooting them 10,000 times really isn't any harder, so you're not... Holy crap, this gun is ridiculous. So, wow, this game just became a thousand times easier. Which is kind of unfortunate, because it wasn't really that hard in the first place. But, maybe it gets harder. I, I would assume it does. That's kind of... Ow. Yeah, I think we kill these guys in two hits now, if we get them with most of the spread. Honestly, though, isn't, like, double, no, triple the firepower kind of excessive for, like, the first upgrade in the game? Also, I really hate the delay to level up, um, pop-up. I still keep moving for a second, and then you freeze me in place. I would, don't barf on me, you sick freak! I really would prefer that you didn't stop me, you know, every time I level up, considering the level up bonuses are always the same. It really doesn't seem necessary to stop me every time. You know, and you can make it just a little pop-up that you see, like in the top corner or something, but it doesn't stop, this, doesn't stop the gameplay. So this gun makes this game like a billion times easier. Just thought I would say that again. Oh, I actually lost my shield somehow. This probably also not helps that there's absolutely no reason to not constantly fire forever. It makes it a bit less of a horror type game. Well, it's not a survivally horror game, but the survival aspect adds to the horror, definitely. But it's a Flash game, so you really don't want to make your Flash games too hard because people really underestimate how big of an, an issue it is when people quit games. And especially for free content like Flash games, you have to make a good impression and you have to keep you have to keep people's attention. You can't frustrate them because they can and will find another Flash game in seconds. If they have any reason to leave your stupid game, they're going to leave your stupid game. So don't make a stupid game. It won't end well for you. I'm sorry. So yeah, consider now, consider user experience, that's the whole message. Especially when you're making a game, because that's entirely about the experience. 
Metal Unlock Veteran, yeah. Killed stuff. Killed lots of stuff. So this game's pretty freaking easy right now. I mean, heck, the, uh, the shield recharge is long enough that I don't think that's too much of an issue. Oh, headaches again. Should have taken more Tylenol. What is this madness? This is goo all over the floor, and it's pretty gross. Hello, goo monster. Sergey, come closer, Sergey. Don't be afraid. I need your help. Oh, God, it's a butter monster. Don't come near me, butter monster. Oh, God, no. My worst nightmares have come to life. Oh, God, the butter monster's here. I am transforming into something I don't want to be, Arg. On the other side, they worm into our bodies, into our head. And we have fought them back, Arg. I'm turning into butter. Butter, I want to. Well, this is one lightly salted heck of a pickle we've gotten into. Chief Medical Officer's log. See, the log... What? Why did you change font? Stop that. S just, you stop that right now. This isn't nom. This is typography. There are rules. I think everyone shares the same excitement for the journey we are about to begin. We have a wonderful crew of dedicated people. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. Why is your space log at Earth? This trip is taking longer than we originally thought. It is hard to tell how much time has passed since we jumped because of our clock problem. But I would say we've been here for over a week now. See, you're, you're saying that time hasn't passed, and then you're talking about time passing. That's, that's just not how it works. Today we tried to trigger the SWIT JUMP manually without success. I've decided to put all our engineers on this case. They must find a way to trigger the JUMP! Because I don't know how long we'd have to wait before it activates itself automatically. Why? How would you not know these things? Th that is ridiculous. Once again, I'm being told that everything is fine and there's nothing to worry about. Oh, that's always very reassuring. But I think our scientists just don't know what's going on. And I keep forgetting you can use the arrow keys in there. I keep wanting to complain that it's making me use the mouse, but then it's actually not making me use the mouse. It's doing what it should do, and oh god. That was pathetically easy. <laughs> that should be like, oh god, it's a new monster, it's such a challenging fight. And then it's like... It's kind of like that. It's amazingly anticlimactic. Just just have to say that, honestly. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's a horrific new monster. Oh, I already killed it. Ow. Also, I killed that moth thing just by, like, hitting it with my face. Generally, hitting things with my face should not be an acceptable strategy in horror games. I mean, imagine if that worked in, like, Resident Evil. The entire game is pretty much hitting zombies with your face, and if that killed them, that would be not be good. Oh. You're leaking butter out of your nipples. This is really gross. In all kinds of ways. What are you? Whoa. How did I... What? What? I'm not off of that platform. I am not falling off of that platform. That is ridiculous. Anyway, I just wanted to kill this thing. Surprisingly resilient for... Let's see if it does something. Whoa, holy crap. What? It's boss of dripping buttery nipple monsters. This is far more terrifying than I ever expected from this game. Also, these... I, I kind of hate these platforms. Also, we're getting a lot of lag, unfortunately. That's my bad. I should have chosen low quality. That! Ah! Oh, why? That is so messed up. Anytime one of my feet is on a platform, I should be standing on that platform. You know, when in doubt, you should go for the Mega Man rule of if one pixel of your foot is on the platform, you are on the platform. Because unexpectedly falling off of platforms, you're going to have a bad time. Also, I have no idea how this is considered a boss. And I really... Would you stop that? The level up thing's getting... Oh, it opens up and you gotta shoot the little... Cobra thingy that... I, I, I don't know what's going on. 
I also, I don't think I can kill these things on the ceiling, so I should probably stop shooting at them. I should probably be shooting at the dripping butter nipple people that really, really disgust me. Honestly, I get that you're going for some sort of, like, disgusting fluid, but, uh, the yellow just looks way too much like butter. I'm, I'm sorry. It, see, that's kind of gross. When it's mixed with blood, it looks like grossness. But when it's just butterness, it's not really spooky so much as butter. Hello, Parker. Well, we're gonna go back to the main menu and change our graphics -y settings. Because this computer sucks. I need to, I was thinking of getting a new desktop, but I don't like desktops. So a new laptop with gaming quality stuff would be expensive. Okay, crew quarters. I can't I can't be far from the command bridge. As opposed to the non command bridge. Again. Just thought I would point that out again. I also forgot the voice I gave to this guy, so... Whatever. Are the door colors... What? 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 Um... What? <laughs> I think I broke your game. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you attack me? <laughs> well, crap. Hey, he's having, like... What the? I'm not sure if he's supposed to be doing that since this is a horror game or... Oh well, I can't seem to exit. Okay, there we go. Well... Yes, yes I do. Oh, and apparently we have a menu screen. I don't think I've gone to that yet. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Let's try this again. Oh, I have a map? Since when do I have a map? Okay, his... him talking... Once the menu is up, it's kind of weird. I did not know I had a map. We got military armor. Spread device. 200 lumens flashlight. And we're level 9, blah blah blah. Oh sweet, we get more rate of fire from... and more damage from this. Why is that font different? Kindly stop not having consistent fonts, please. Just saying, yeah. Anyway. Okay, I guess the game is just always a little jerky when we fire the gun. I guess maybe it's supposed to be recoil. It just feels laggy for some reason. Oh, right. Move that out of the way. Anyway, the game doesn't look that much worse, so... Ow. Oh. oh, well. Splat. Stupid butter monsters! Oh, oh god, more butter monsters! Okay, I'll let this one live just so I can see what it does. Okay, it's a bunch of hands and like an insectoid torso. It's all spooky. I'm I'm very scared. So let's put it out of its misery and why? Oh, you gotta shoot its eye. I see. Oh no, it's just an. Um. I'm so terrified right now. Words words cannot express. Okay, let's give him a fighting chance. Or not. He's just frozen. Poor guy. Never stood a chance. He was also kind of retarded. Which didn't really contribute to his chance. Oh, ow. Don't barf on me! Stop barfing butter on me! You're disgusting. Yeah, the color you pick for gross liquids like that is important. This again. I'm fucking losing my mind and my voice. God. God help me, please, even though I sound like Satan. Butter. Let's do the butter dance. Do the butter dance. Come on, everybody, do the butter dance. Butter, butter, butter. Shoot butter out of my gun. Shoot butter on the ground. Come on, everybody, it's the butter dance. Is there a spooky butter monster again? Hey, butter buddy. When I was... Oh. Um... When I was the commander... Wait, no. I can't think of a good spooky voice. Oh, well. When I was the commander of this ship, I tried to fight them, but in their world, they were too strong. Here, you have a chance, Sergei. You must stop them. 
You don't have to caps lock at me, bro. It's not polite. And anyway, I've kind of noticed that they're a bit weaker in our world. I'm kind of hoping we go into their world so they stop being such wusses. Did I, did I pick an easy mode or something? That seems like something I would do and then completely forget about and never remember that I did. I don't see any indication of what difficulty mode I'm on, though. Um. Oh, whatever. Now he's wearing butter armor and his... Um. Um. That... Those are not the same, I'm afraid. I am ready to serve the Yellow Light Master. Now gods will merge with me. Oh, now he looks like that. Okay, you gotta... You gotta show his face as it currently is, not how it's gonna be in, like, a second. And this is really not scary. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm gonna see... When I end this video, I'm gonna see if there's a harder difficulty setting, and I'm gonna start playing on that. If there is. So, because I... I kind of remember. This has vid difficulty settings, doesn't it? I thought I remember it having something like that. Yeah, we're a soldier. Stop doing... Stop pausing the game like that. It's really annoying. We're... Okay, we're, we're starting to take damage. Whoa! What the crap is that? Stop. Ow. Possessed! Ah, we turned into a butter monster! Oh god, the horror. The horror. Alright, well, I'm gonna go see if there's a harder difficulty setting. And we're not gonna continue. So next time, hopefully the game will be harder.